Hello, Facebook, YouTube today. Oh, Jejudea, the archangel, God, the one that rewards us, the angel that rewards us for our spiritual labor. No, not a fig. She's a false goddess. Quick launching false gods. God's days. My uh, iPad, uh, getting some technical difficulties. I found out in videos, so I'm trying to figure out was the technical difficulties are happening. It's been crazy. I think it may be exposure to the sun. I don't know, but I hope it don't get too much technical difficulties. But June 9th is the day of Pentecost. I will continually give that announcement. The day of Pentecost when the church was fulfilled of, of the day of Pentecost that, you know, they were in one accord and you know the holy spirit came down like a dove and filled them with tongues of fire pretty much um and that's where the church was established to uh be representations of jesus christ to empower the world by the power of the holy spirit to let people know that jesus christ is the answer of every life in their life is the answer to their life or more likely to Romans 14 17 uh, the kingdom of God is not made to drink but it's righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Ghost you know what I'm saying to bring that righteousness peace and joy on the earth is what the Holy Ghost empower the people uh, in the upper room and the church is supposed to be on that agenda to do that to establish the kingdom of God of course because the kingdom of God is Matthew 6 6.33 seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added but the topic of this message that I was got a friend of mine's uh, mother that was at last call you know uh, they have a pool league there and a friend of mine I know uh, her name is Jessie or Jessica um, I met her mother and she was doing a poem She I found out her mother wrote a poem she wrote a poem of a butterfly and it was crazy that she wrote a poem of a butterfly and I love the poem of a butterfly but in that morning that, that morning that, that, that okay yesterday morning I was meditating on this. Uh, God showed me this. Um, uh, what I'm going to explain to you about the butterfly and the fly. You know what I'm saying? Stuck on the spider web. And uh, I was meditating on that that last, you know, yesterday morning. Um, but she said that poem about a butterfly, and I was like, oh yes. The you know the uh, butterfly and the fly and the way I heard she said that um butterfly, I heard, you know I it significant it, it was significance of this what God has revealed to me of concerning her poem she was describing, but the topic of this message is called the reality of the butterfly and the fly stuck on the spider's web. Now, this is, of course, a metaphor, metaphorically, you know, speaking, concerning that I'm going to show you something that uh, about the butterfly and the fly stuck on the uh, spider's web. As you know, that spiders create webs to capture bugs and eat them, you know, is what a spider, I mean, a spider does, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, the flying you know the fly the butterfly and a fly unfortunately for them they get caught into the spider's web so um i was meditating last night of course after hearing talking to uh the woman um that i met at the uh, last call uh that i was meditating on it and it's interesting now uh i researched uh the Let's talk about the butterfly first. Let's talk about no. Which one we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about the butterfly first. Okay, the butterfly, uh, as you know, it was a caterpillar. You know what I'm saying? 
And as we know, a fly was a maggot. You know what I'm saying? You know, a negative uh, people to call people maggots. You know. But what's interesting about uh, the caterpillar that the caterpillar is, of course, both uh, fly, flies, butterfly, fly, and fly uh, uh, came came from uh, the well. The butterfly came from a larvae of a butterfly. Yeah. Um, and of course, you know, uh, flies come from flies. <laughs> I mean, flies produce maggots, of course. Now, watch this. Uh, 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 a butterfly produced larvae, and 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 the caterpillar comes out. And when a caterpillar is born, it it's born to crawl, of course. Around is to crawl around to uh, get to its destination, but as you know, uh, in, in the in let me see in forest or oh, something like forest or something like that that that's where caterpillars I've looked it up caterpillars bills are born in forests you know they give birth in forests and every other areas, but maggots as you know uh, flies see trash or they see some food or something and a fly will come into a uh mag a fly will uh put their eggs into the trash you know what i'm saying and uh something that it is that when uh the maggots are birthed they already is given the provision to live you know what i'm saying they they're, they're pretty much a maggot is you know a place in a place of provision for the maggot to eat you know what I'm saying what it needs gets eats what it needs to become lip but uh caterpillars caterpillars are creatures that has to crawl to find the specific find the plant that they need to eat you know what I'm saying in order to live pretty much they have to go crawl and find out you know what I'm saying the plant that they have to eat to live, but why? Why the maggot is just right, surrounded by its provision. It can eat right there, eat right there, and watch this. This is interesting that I looked at. That it takes, you know. Now, now I'm talking about the you know stage as we know a butterfly goes into a cocoon. You know, now watch this. A but a caterpillar has to crawl all the way up in the tree. Now y'all know caterpillars, those little feet, those little feet, slow caterpillars, have to crawl all the way up into a tree. Could you, you know, little little steps have to crawl all the way in the high spot of a tree in order for it to turn into a cocoon to be ready to become a butterfly. They have to crawl all the way up to the tree. Well, a maggot just, you know, creates a shell. Bam. A f fly, it turns into a fly. And guess how long it takes a maggot to turn into a fly? It takes, it says it takes 24 hours for a maggot to turn into a fly. Well, guess how long it takes a, a, a caterpillar to be sitting in a cocoon to turn into a butterfly it takes up to four weeks <laughs> four weeks and four weeks and I mean four weeks to be in that cocoon you know what I'm saying it takes uh, to be in there you know and now 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 as we know that you know to stay in that cocoon for four weeks it takes a longer time it takes a short time for a fly but it takes a longer time for a, uh, uh, for a caterpillar to become a butterfly. Now, as we know, uh, the fly is like flying around. Why the uh, why the caterpillar is sitting high in the tree in this cocoon? You know what I'm saying? That it it took a lot of preparation to create to for a a, a, a caterpillar to turn in the cocoon to become a butterfly and in that 
long preparation, hope y'all follow me, in that long preparation, when the time comes, now watch this, and, it's, and for a week, but that's a month pretty much, preparation, now when the cal when the uh when the cal when it's done the process now a butterfly well it's in a procedure butterfly now the butterfly has to in order to have the wings of a butterfly has to struggle has to struggle a long time to get develop the wings a butterfly has to struggle I didn't, I didn't look it up. A long time in order to struggle to develop the beautiful wings that we see a butterfly fly with. It has to struggle for a long time while the, you know, a house fly, of course, the fly just flying around and flying around, as you can see, while the preparation for a butterfly still struggle and struggle and struggle in order to develop their wings and they have a butterfly has to, has to struggle in order for the wings to be developed properly to truly fly the way they need to fly to be a butterfly you know what i'm saying they have to you know what i'm saying um so butterfly goes through all the struggling and finally the wings are developed now the butterfly is flying around, and all of a sudden, the butterfly gets caught on a spider web. And now the fly is flying around. Zzzz. All of a sudden, the fly gets caught in the spider web. Now, the butterfly, of course, the fly is like, zzzz, you know, zzzz, trying to break away from the uh, spider web, doing its best to break away the spider web. And the spider, I mean, the fly has a difficult time trying to loose itself from the spider web. You know what I'm saying? Like, why is the fly having a difficult time to loose itself? Well, it came from a procedure from a maggot to a fly. It had an easy procedure. It was given its provision to where it was set at. And it just, you know, 24 hours, boom, I'm a fly. I'm flying around. But now the butterfly, now the butterfly is sit at a place stuck on the spider's web. But guess what? Why does the spider, I mean the uh, butterfly breaks free of the spider web? Well, the spider web came from a process of development of struggle. You know what I'm saying? It came from a process of the development of struggle. It had to struggle to become a butterfly. You know what I'm saying? And the butterfly breaks free from the spider web. Now watch this. The butterfly not only breaks free from the spider web, as you know, you see spider webs, it also break the spider web. It can break the spider web through its struggle to loose the, uh, it can maybe, wherever the fly is at, it can loose the fly. You know what I'm saying? Concerning the way the spider web broke free from the spider web. You know what I'm saying? It could. Depends on where to fly. I mean, and the thing is, what the metaphor, of course, is talking about is that that's why it, you know, it requires struggle in order. That's why, as a Christian, we must learn to, you know, become. Uh, to suffer pretty much as what it says in first uh, Peter 4 and 16 if any man suffer to be a Christian let him not be ashamed to give glory to God on his behalf or more likely struggle like everybody struggles you know what I'm saying everybody's going to go through struggle struggle is going to happen to everybody you know what I'm saying but it's about how you are developed it's your, how you are developed in order for you to survive, you know, the demise of this world system. I, I don't know if you know about this world system, but it's known as a web of deceit. You know what I'm saying? 
uh, a system web of deceit. And that God showed me the system of the web of deceit of this world system, which of what they put on your back of your dollar bill, that you will see a web on your dollar bill. And that web is supposed to symbolic a web of deceit, that a system of this world is really an ideal web. If you, you know, research the idea of the World Wide Web as what you know about your internet is uh, talking about a web, you know, actually a web that it's there to try to deceive people. And this world system, of course, ran by the God of this world, blind in the minds of men. It, the spider uh, is created this web of deceit for a lot of people. And unfortunately, there's people are being flies and they are stuck in this world system and they are stuck and they cannot get out of this world system because of the easy process of the development of their life. They did not experience struggle. You know what I'm saying? I learn how to struggle to break free of something. They got it easy. The provision is given to them. And it will, you know, they just flying around wondrously. That's what, you know, flies. Watch this. Flies are known for bugging people. You know, the ideal term of bugging me, quit bugging me, comes from a fly. You know what I'm saying? Stop bothering me, bugging me. You know, flies just bother people. And and, and the ideal of a fly that, you know, you want to get rid of a fly. We try to kick, shoot, you know, hit the fly, get rid of the fly out of a house. But when it comes to a butterfly, is a butterfly something to be marveled? The beauty of the wings and all the shapes and the colors and the brightness of the wings that we sit and, you know, look at the butterfly. And the interesting thing about a butterfly, you know, we, we want the butterfly to land on us and we can, you know, uh, see the, uh, the, the fly, uh, uh, the wings of the butterfly and you know, marvel at it and stuff like that. And, you know, we, we, we will marvel at a butterfly, but flies just bug you, you know, just want to throw that in there. Um, but the thing is, but, you know, but who, but there's a web, there's a web. This world system is a web. And are you going to be a fly in this web of deceit or are you going to become a butterfly? In this web of deceit is what I'm saying. And the idea, of course, the metaphor of the ideal of Jesus Christ died on the cross that he went through suffering. He suffered for the sake of the gospel of Jesus Christ to die on the cross for our sins, to give us the power to an ability to really, dish, we're, as what it says, uh, John, uh, John, 1 John 3 and I think 18, it says the son of God came to destroy the works of the devil. The son of God came to destroy the works of the devil. And we supposed to develop, but he, be, Jesus became a butterfly to give us the ability to become butterflies. And a butterfly that has to go through, that has to be, be still, as what it says, be still and know that he is God. We have to be, we have to crawl first. We crawl to, you know, first. And we have to go to a, as a caterpillar, go to a high place. We got to go to a high place to call little by little as the caterpillar has to go to a high place in the tree to crawl. You know what I'm saying? To get in a place, a position, of, a high position, you know, concerning I more likely say, think, praising God. We got to learn to praise God, worship God, to get to a high place in the tree that we are positioned in our cocoon process. And that process of a cocoon process is supposed to last four weeks. So uh, it's, it's going to take time as we know that love is patience, love is kind. And as what it says in Romans 5, uh, Romans 5, 5, I call it Romans 5, 1 through 5, that it talks about that to tribulation work it experience experience work it you know uh, 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 experience tribulation work it 
patience, patience, work it, experience, experience, work it, hope, something like that. Um, we go through this cocoon process within our development as a Christian that we in due season, that's what it says, you know what I'm saying, that we will in due season reach a growth spiritually that we will produce a butterfly wings. But, you know, we got to still in that butterfly wing struggle, you know what I'm saying, to develop these wings. And the development process of a Christian is what that is all about. You know, that I, you know, pretty much said, a Christian is supposed to develop into a saint, you know, you know, Christian is supposed to be just a stage, you know what I'm saying, it's, it, we're supposed to, it's a stage, Christian is supposed to be a stage to a saint, and a saint of the most high is what every Christian is supposed to be striving to become, because it says that Jesus, Jesus uh, the Lamb of God, the bride, is coming for his saints, you know what I'm saying, as what Jesus says, Matthew's 20 and 16, last shall be first, first shall be last, many are called, few are chosen. You know what I'm saying? The chosen is the saints of the Most High that Jesus Christ is coming for. You know what I'm saying? His saints. And we are supposed to be uh, in Christianity, being a Christian is a stage to that, pretty much that, you know, I don't know Christians know about that. Um, is what we need to understand, but we, but that I'm using the butterfly as an example that we are, I believe the butterfly is we're supposed to develop ourselves uh, to become Christians. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, our develop process, I mean, to become saints. We, we're, we're the Christian to become a saint. And I believe that saint is the butterfly. That when we become a saint, whatever, if we get caught up in this world in trouble or in this world system, and going through problems and situations, circumstances concerning the web of deceit of this world system, we will learn to struggle and break loose and break free from any bondage, any uh, sit bad situation, circumstances that this world system has out there for us. We will know as butterflies to break free because we have was we are a people. A people that is developed through struggle, developed through suffering, developed of following the instructions of the worst word of God, that we are capable to break free from whatever the deceit of this world system has created around us. And in our breaking free, that we're supposed to help break flies free and help flies understand that they need to get in the cocoon and they need to ask God to make them a butterfly. You know what I'm saying? It's what this metaphor, it's a metaphor um, that I hope you see and recognize what this ideal is. Thank you. Of of that as Christians, we're here to break free and break the flies out of get the flies out of there to tell them that God can transform them into a butterfly. But I want to end this with this. Well, I was thinking about, you know, the butterfly, you know, it's the butter, right? There. Both both of them got fly on it, but this is butter, you know. One, the fly got butter on it, and I see the uh, you, you know. There's a you in there, the you on the butterfly, and when you know you see the you in there, you know, I say, you know, how I look at the process of the procedure of the butterfly. And that it went through a lot of struggle, went through a lot to develop itself. It positioned itself to excel. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, excel to excellence. More likely, I take the you concerning you. When we, when you understand that you need to excel and turn the you into E, you become a better fly. Hope you got that. <laughs> a better fly is when you when you start to see that you are made in the image and the likeness of God, and only God, His Spirit, can get inside of you. That you see that, and you will understand that if His Spirit inside of us, I have the ability to excel. I have the ability to do excellent things. You know what I'm saying? To become excellent, I become a better fly. 
unfortunately, you know, better fly to do things better. Hope you got that. I hope you understand what I just said. All right, that's the message. I hope you understand my metaphor, the butterfly and the fly stuck on the web of the spider's web, but it's too many flies stuck on that web. And unfortunately, there's some too many butterflies stuck on the web of deceit concerning Christians and sinners. But we need to keep struggling, breaking up, because, or we need to keep Romans uh, 12 and 20, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We need to keep transforming and renewing of our mind that we do not get caught up in the web of deceit of this world system. It's how butterflies can break loose from this world system of deception. All right, that's the message. I do glory to him forever and ever in Jesus' name.